have some comments. Morning round, playing in the wind and heat today. Yeah, um, you know, knew the forecast uh, at the beginning of the week and knew today was going to be a challenging day. Um, you know, the, didn't disappoint, I guess the wind was blowing from the get-go. Um, you know, feel like we might have got a bit of a break on uh, the first few holes, but uh, it was a very challenging day. Knew it was going to be very difficult. Um, took some positives from yesterday's round. Um, you know, just tried to play really smart today, uh, focus on one shot at a time, hit it solid, and was able to do that really well. Never got myself into too much trouble, and um, was really happy with the way I struck it and uh, rolled in some nice putts. How good was that round today? Yeah, it was, it was excellent. You know, I played really, really solid. I did everything well, drove it well, hit my irons and wedges well, and, and made some putts. Um, you know, as, as difficult of a day as it was, you know, I, I left myself in great spots, so it was you know, fairly stress free round, you know, can never be stress free out here, but um, I was really happy with, you know, the way I kept things really simple and just focused on uh, each shot and hitting, hitting it really solid. How much of a mental grind was it out there with, with some of the shots and especially with all the, the you know, penalty areas and stuff that, that come into play here? Yeah, definitely, you know, very mentally tough. Uh, you know, I think me and my caddy Danny Saul did a great job of, you know, judging the wind, feeling the shots, seeing the shots, and uh, you know, was able to execute a lot of good ones. So, um, you know, worked out well. Last night when you saw the weather forecast and what, you know, the changes they were doing to the preparation, were you kind of salivating, you know, like and thinking this is going to work for me? Yeah, it's certainly playing in the morning, I think, is an advantage today. And I got off to a really nice start and, um, you know, as challenging as it was, tried to keep my foot down and continue to be aggressive uh, as much as possible. So. Um, you know, it's definitely nice to have a morning tea time, but you know, even last week when I was at home looking at the forecast for this week, you know, I saw the, the wind forecast for today and um, I've been expecting it for a while. You look like you just most of you just stuck on the top fives today. Um, is there a key for you just to play those as well as you did? Yeah, I just hit really good tee shots on, on all the par fives. Um, most, a uh, couple of them were playing downwind, I guess, for and uh, number 12 and was able to hit irons onto the green there, which too difficult greens to hit regardless of what club you have but just hit some solid shots and then uh, got on the green on six into the wind a little bit and then 16 uh, you know it was within range but uh, I'm happy with the, the layup and wedge it in there close so um, you know got to take advantage of those holes but keep it simple and try and hit it solid. What is it about this course that suits your eye so well? Yeah I think you know, having success here in the past or playing well here in the past you know, definitely add some comfort, but uh, it's a very demanding golf course. It's a very difficult golf course, but you know, I feel like I have a good strategy you know, to tackle uh, this test and uh, you know, just just try and play my game, stick to you know what what I do best, and just try and focus on hitting it all. Do you have a good Arnold Palmer story? Uh, I do not. I uh, never got the, the honor of, of meeting Mr. Palmer, uh, but it's it's an honor to to be here at his event. And, um, you know, I got to see his office a couple of years ago uh, and uh, upstairs and, um, you know, you can feel his presence around here. It's a very special place. Thanks, Court. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir.